the bank. Leave that money while it's in the bank. I don't get that. That's the next one. <laughs> so today, if you can hear me, I don't know if you can, we're gonna talk, let's go, come on, come on, come on. We're gonna talk what happened at trailer number 13 and why it is in the position that it is and why it became the studio for what we're gonna do. So, so follow me down, come on. <laughs> follow me down and we're gonna go talk about number 13. Dude, I am out of shape, holy crap. <laughs> what, what are you laughing at? Old man. <laughs> Old man's gonna beat your eye. Hey, oh, oh, he's got a drone now too, sweet. That's cool. We need to whip out our drone. Ah. We got a drone too. I know, I see y'all, you fly old anymore? No, we're actually, we're about to start doing that stuff again. It's got a camera on it. I know. I just got it. Cool, how much was it? 60 bucks. Not bad. I know. All right, so you got the key? I got yep. Get, okay, I got the key, okay. Let me get the key, let me get the key. Keep going. All right. Got uh, some water. Yep. Oh, what? I forgot the uh, SD cards. So I go go ahead and cut it. <laughs> okay, the reason why trailer 13 is as it is, let me put my phone over here, is because of my dumb butt allowing somebody to move in I thought I could trust. See, about a... Um, about a year ago, maybe a little bit less, I saw this guy that I haven't seen in years, ran into him up at Lowe's. And um, he, me and him, we were just catching up. And of course he found out that I had a trailer park because I'm proud of this trailer park at times, you know? And uh, he mentioned that he needed a place to stay, you know? And that's what usually people, when they find out you got a trailer park, they're always about, oh, you got a place to stay? And I usually don't. And I didn't at that time either. I had this trailer, number 13, which basically was used for storage. Like literally we were, um, how much minutes did it got? Uh, 31%. Okay, so we got 31%, so it might die. So this was just basically used for just storage at the point, because the guy that was living here, he moved on and I wasn't ready to fix it up yet, but it was in, it was in bad shape, but it wasn't in great shape either. So finally he beat me down. I was like, yes, I've got a trailer, but it's not livable. But if you want to work something out while you're trying to find another temp why, why, you know, if you want to come work on it and then eventually move in, <laughs> hey, eventually move in, then you are more than welcome to, you know, think about this idea. So he was like, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So I gave him my number and that should have been a red flag. The fact that he was interested in moving to something like this. But it wasn't. I, I'm thinking this guy needed a place because I know if I was down and out and I had no other options, I would, I would jump on it because, hey, somebody's giving me an opportunity. Well, I get a call. And that's quick, like within a couple hours. That should have been another red flag, but it wasn't. So he calls me up and asks me to come look at it. And sure enough, I said yes. And he comes and he takes a look at it and he is contemplating it. I'm like, have you seen this place? But, you know, so he was contemplating that. And that should have been a red flag right there, but it was not. Hey, okay. Uh, <laughs> so he said that he might think about it, but he wants to get somebody else to look at it. I'm like, all right, that's cool. You know, there's no pressure on it. So he went and got his other friend. They came back. And they, a couple days later, they looked at it, and uh, he really was complex. So, so I said, look, all right. And I did say that again. I was like, look, you want to fix it up? Well, you know, come over here once a week or so and just fix it up and then eventually move in. You can do that. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, all right, that's a lot of work. Um, but we're going to, you know, and if you put a lot of money into it, we'll also do it for rent free for a while too. Once you finally move in and then to, to supplement the rent as well as the fixing, you can help out around the park. We're talking like just maybe mow the lawn, pick up some trash, just small stuff. And he agreed to it. And in my head, I'm thinking that's a lot of work. 
So, you know what? I'll throw the power in as, as well. You know, I'll just take care of the power for a while. You know, until you get things situated, then you've got to take over the power. And trust me, that's actually important in all this. And he's like, okay, cool. Yes, yes, we'll do it. We'll do it. So, for the next month or so, he was coming over here a couple days a week, cleaning up, getting ready to put shit in. And then he ended up moving in. I'm like, uh, okay, you're welcome. Oh, uh, I didn't think nothing of it because I didn't want to put I know this guy. I'm going to let him do what he's got to do. If he wants to live here, fine. He can live in the dump. That's, it's on him. It is on him. And things were going good okay. He, things were going all right. He wasn't taking too much. He was actually, he mowed the lawn like maybe three times. And he wasn't even mowed. He just kind of, he stayed over with the white people. He didn't go over to where all the, you know, the black folks and his back. He stayed with the white people on this side. He really didn't. And that should have been another reply, but no. And then he started bringing trash, like not trash, but junk, like he's going to junk. Because we got people here that do junking. Like they'll collect metal, save it for a week or two, and then it's hauled off. And he started bringing junk, like junking, and I thought that's what he was going to do. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I'm going to be splicing the pictures, and you'll see what I'm talking about. No, it was nasty. I mean, it was like, it was like girl, holy, no, it was just nasty. Mm. So it got nasty, but... And then, <laughs> you look good in the hat. You look good in the hat. So then he moved in his cousin. Dealer! And uh, yeah, he tried to front it off that it was his cousin, but it was his dealer that he apparently he moved in. And it got um, a lot of traffic. Arguments, fights, the police, the power bill started going up. The power bill started going up. And that's... So... Um, after a couple of the power bill going up, I went to him and I started making him pay for it. I kept it in my name. I was like, Hey, I need, I need the power bill money. You know how many guys, how much is told him? And guess what? I got the money. It took a couple of weeks, but I got the money. And then more police started showing up and a lot more traffic coming in. More people were visiting and staying for a couple of weeks at a time. <laughs> and, uh, he wasn't fulfilling his end of the agreement by, with the trash. He was getting people that are staying here to come pick up the trash. He was getting people to go out and work on the lawn. But he wasn't doing it, right? He was not doing it, right? And people started, and then like things started coming up missing. Like we got this guy, this gentleman that lives behind here, he started missing some metal. I lost, I lost, a, I lost a saw and a drill and another uh, trailer, right? So things started coming up missing. I mean, and we, like we said, we had more police presence. We had more activity going on here that we've never had so the next month i i, I asked him about the power bill the because the power bill kept going up and up 28 percent. i gotta watch that it kept going up so i was like all right hey i i, I need to get the the, the the power money and he's like all right sure and i got it and took another couple weeks and the money he was shorted like 10 bucks so i'm seeing a pattern here moving his cousin in, the power bill's going up <laughs> I'm getting shortchanged. So at this time, uh, after this, I was like, hey, you need to get the power in your name. I, I said, hey, look, you need to get the power in your name. And he said he would. Let me see what I got to do. I'm like, all right, all right, cool, cool. And I didn't hear nothing from him. And then more police are showing up, more activity. I mean, I've got all the reports. If, if we could show, I could show you the reports, but that would give the person's name out, and I can't, I'm not going to do that because you never know. He could change. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Oh, and it gets juicy. Let me tell you, it gets, ju it gets juicy. <laughs> so, I uh, eventually said, you got to get it in your name. And uh, <laughs> he said he would take care of it, and he never did. Eventually, I get a message from Georgia Power. That's right, because we're in Georgia. I get a message from Georgia Power. They're about to cut the power. So I tell them, we're about to, their Georgia Power is about to cut the power. Come on, you're supposed to take care of it. Well, he's like, he didn't say that he needed this, that, or the other thing. He's just like, how much is it? I'm like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The, that, I just let it at that. I, I, I let it at that. And then, like, there was this dog that was staying around here at the trailer park that was coming to this house, right? And this is where it just, mmm. So, mm. So one night, this dog, we asked him to get rid of this dog that was just coming around here. And because it kept coming to this house, he's like, "There's no money." Well, you got to get rid of it. It's coming to your house. It, you, so I'm walking around trailer park because at trailer park at night, I start, I do patrols some nights, just randomly, so nobody knows exactly when I'm doing it, right? So I'm doing a patrol one night, 
and I walk by this house out on the road because I don't go in people's yards if I don't have to. If I see something creepy, I will, but I don't. So then I knew we were having problems, right? So <laughs> I walk by this house and I see a fire pit going. What? Huh? huh? Okay. So I see a fire pit going. I shine my light up and sure enough, the dog is there. And it's like, it's 11 o'clock at night. There's a fire pit, nobody there, but the dog's there. The dog's there. So I'm like, all right, I'm upset. I'm going to let this go. I'm just, I'm not going to say shit. I'm just going to let it go. And so I walk around the park trying to figure out what the I'm going to do. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'm seeing stuff. So I came by here again because I, you know, I do at least one or two loops every, every time I patrol. And I shine the light. Yep, sure enough, the dog's there. And I got my, I got my, I got my shot pew pew on me, right? So I shine the light and there it is. There, I'm like, mm, you know what? I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to cool down. I'm going to cool down and I'll go to talk to my wife and see what we need to do about this. So as soon as I put the light down and I walk, start walking towards my place, my place, I heard, <laughs> the dog is charging off the property onto land. So I'm <laughs> scared it. That's all I was doing. I wasn't going to, I scared it. I mean, it's coming at me. And he comes out. What's going on? I'm like, you know what you did? You know what? Because not only, not only did he, was he doing all that stuff, apparently there was people asking me if I was dealing crack out of this trailer park. They, they came to me and my wife while we were at a gas station asking if I were dealing crack. What? And they told me where the information came from. Oh, hot damn. Hot damn. So, between the dog, the police, asking if I was crack, ugh. I was like, you're out of here. You're out of here. So we started the eviction process. We started the eviction process, right? So George Power at this time cuts the power at that time too because they didn't get no payments because he didn't pay. Because George, when I heard about George Power, they called me up and go, hey, we're about to cut the power. I'm like, what do you mean you're going to cut the power? He didn't take care of it? No, we didn't cut the power. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He didn't take care of it. So they cut the power. I told them they're gonna cut the power, they cut the power, right? So the eviction, we started the process, we gave them the 60 days, because we're trying to be polite about it, we give the guy 60 days, right? Give him 60 days. So, uh, <laughs> we give him 60 days. So he, mm, so the power gets cut, we're in the middle of eviction, and, uh, <laughs> The next thing I know, I'm getting a call from the codes department. The same thing that the lady number 10 did, exact same thing. Trash collecting, letting people move here. Call the codes department. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> called the codes department. Hey, man. hey, Mr. Hattie. So we called the codes department. They called me up. They're like, hey, what's going on? Told them, hey, what's up? They said, oh, well, we get this. And I told them, what's up? We're doing the middle of eviction. They're like, all right, we're going to let this go. So, because apparently, apparently, what landlords and residents will do, they'll call the codes department to try to solve issues that everyone's having. So, the codes department's like, oh, you're going through an eviction. <laughs> Click. They let it go because they, they knew that this, somebody was trying to use them. So, anyways. So they let it go because they understand that this is this is a civil action and it is so so the power's cut but then one of my resident calls me up and says hey look he still has his power on i'm like what maybe he's got a drop line or something so i go to the power box and sure enough the globe is off there's ring and he's got power he was stealing power i got i can sh steal it i'm gonna show you i'm gonna stealing power he was stealing power right so Stealing power. So George Power comes out and like, oh, no, no, he's stealing power. So guess what? Click. They cut it off permanently. Now he's mad because he's got no power. And it's illegal to cut the power. Dude, you had three to four opportunities to get the power in your name, but you couldn't do it. So now you're stealing power from George Power. That's on you, not me. Not me. Right? So. <laughs> So this is going on left and right. Now he's harassing people. Windows are not being replaced. I mean, this place is in shambles, right? But he actually had ceilings up. He had the bathroom put together. He had all this crap in here. So we <laughs> we take him. We finally get the eviction, right? We finally go into court for the eviction. So um, my wife is she's in charge of this stuff now, and she's taking care of it. <laughs> so he's about to go through some kind of operation, hernia operation, even though he's lifting stuff. So my wife kindly says, we'll give him 30 days if he pays this and we won't, we don't want him out now. So she did. And in that 30 days time, he tears everything out of here. Okay. But it, it was, it was juicy in that also in that 30 time, 30 days. Holy crap. Okay. So 
part of the agreement was we would get the power turned on in our name, right? And so we did. <laughs> and George Power turned it on. We agreed to it. And the next thing we know, we're getting... What? <laughs> so the next thing we're doing, we're getting a call from George Power. Or we're getting... We're getting no, no, I didn't get a call from George Power. We didn't get no call. I'm working on something because it was on a Friday. And Tuesday, uh, the uh, Tuesday after that, after we got, we got George Power to come turn it on. Oh, no, what it was is Friday we did the eviction. He gave us the money. I called George Power. George Power said they couldn't turn it on for the weekend. I explained to him. He said, cool. We gave him a way to get some power for the weekend. They came out. They turned it on on that Monday because I met George Power here. They turned it on on that Monday. And then it was on for a week, right? It was on for a week. And then the following Tuesday, I'm working on a trailer. The dude's girlfriend comes to me and goes, hey, can you get the power turned back on? I'm like, what do you mean back on? 24%. We're, we're good. So he, uh, I, I'm like, what? They said, yeah, they cut it off and we couldn't get back on because it's your name. And I was like, oh, wait, a deal's a deal. I don't care if we are, a deal's a deal, buddy. So I called George Power and they're like, oh, crap. Yeah, we shut off. It wasn't anybody's name. I'm like, you had it on for a week. I asked you to turn it on. It should be in my name. So they came back and turned it back on, right? So not only, not only, what? Yeah. So we got it turned back on, but then he, he tried to re take us back to court because he said we broke the contract. We, we broke the agreement of us having the power on, right? So, so, <laughs> so we tried taking us back to court for this. And he wanted to get his money back, and he wanted this, and the judge like, <laughs> denied. Oh, and I forgot the best part. When we did the eviction, we, you, you, I'm showing, when we did the eviction, when we did the eviction, I forgot to tell you, he tried taking us for $10,000 worth of work. He, we've got the, he said he tried $10,000 worth of work. Are you kidding me? What the absolute, <laughs> that is, so yes, and then not only that, not only that, why the eviction, why he's in the middle of, what, 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 almost out? All right, <laughs> so we're going to make this quick. So not only did he try to get us for all the money, he's harassing people while the eviction, because he's, he's doing the things where he's just kind of like harassing people enough where he's not, to, you cannot, where he can get away with it because, you know, you can't prove that he's doing it, right? He's harassing us just enough to prove that he's not doing it, where we couldn't prove it, but we knew it. The police knew. We had to call the police a couple times on him. We knew he was right. The police knew, but there was technically nothing they could do because it wasn't, we had no actual evidence, but they knew. Because there was a time that we were out here and the car, somebody was messing with the car and it rolled because something happened to the brakes. The guy fixing it didn't know how to do the brakes and it rolled and he's out there taunting people with the guitar going, oh, la, 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 and just being really harassing. And the cops, well, he's, the window that it's over there, that, show them that window real quick. Show them that window. That window, we got boarded up right there. He's hanging out the window going, Bleh. <laughs> and of course, that's not actually an arrestable offense, but it's enough to prove that he knows, we all know that what he's doing. So yes, that is the issue with number 13. And that's why the trail is like this, because in that time of the, from the eviction start, I know, hang on, it's, to now, he tore everything out of here. So anyways, that is the tale of 13. You got any questions, hit them up in the comments below. All right, and you, we're about to cut it now. So thank you for watching. Thank you for filming. Come on, okay, you can shut it down now. But again, I'm Papa Bug. This is Quad. This is Quad. This is Quad. <laughs> and, um, and I thank you for watching. Yes. Don't start with me, boy. Hey, hey! <laughs> I swear. Anyways. Oh my god. Um, ow, 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 that actually hurts. Oh, I'm sorry. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the story. We tried to make it entertaining. It literally took us a while to get into it because now we're being serious about this crap. And um, yeah, it was... <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this. It literally has taken us three, uh, three tries to get this correct. Um, next week, if you tune in next week, we're going to be doing... You're out? We're going to do some, me and uh, little man here, we're going to have a table set up. We're, we got some stuff from Amazon. We're going to do an unboxing. And, um, and he's getting the ropes. This man's getting the ropes. Yes, he is a little man. <laughs> he's getting the ropes. And uh, I think next week, uh, not next week, we're going to do the unboxing. But after that, we're going to try to film over at the airport. And uh, he's, it's going to be his show. So please tune in because 
the, da da the, the daddy's house here. This is daddy's house. Oh, where is he? He's, he's going to be part of daddy's house. And uh, yeah, and hopefully we'll get my wife in on it and um, make it a big family affair, like I said. So if you got any comments, like him, hit the like him and subscribe below. We really could appreciate it because I want him to further his career on this because he's enjoying it and uh, the revenue would be great. And if we can get money, what are you doing? What are you doing? And, it, and uh, eventually we can start doing more and more unboxings, tool reviews, and other things. So thank you for tuning in. Like and, sh like, like and subscribe down below. And <laughs> um, yeah, because we can actually use some more mic supplies and stuff because we're going to have two mics on the thing. No, no. So anyways, guys, thank you. You want to say goodbye? You want to come say goodbye? goodbye. No, you got to back up. You got to back up. So. All right, so you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. We will see you next week. Thank you. Share the love. Spread the love. And uh, see you on the, uh, yeah. And again, I'm on TikTok. Pop a bug on TikTok. Thank you. Have a good, whatever it is for you.